Damas y caballeros, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Joe J Jr. and welcome to another super cool pomade review. So today we're not reviewing a gel, we're checking out Slick Gorilla's Clay Pomade. I don't know if you guys could see that from the glare. Um, so if you guys have been around before, maybe you're new, I typically get some of the pomades I've been reviewing so far, I've been getting them from Sally's. And I saw this one very recently. And every time I saw it, I'm like, should I try it? Should I try it? Because I'm like, this thing is like 23, almost 23 to 22 dollars is how much this was. And I'm like, that's more than Suavecito's pomades. And I don't know if you guys know this, but their pomades are like pretty big, probably like twice the size of this one. You know, all the other pomades I reviewed, they've all been way bigger than this one. And this is really small, like compared to the size of my hand, this is pretty small. So I was always just like, should I? Would it be worth it? Uh, am I just gonna be blowing off money? So I finally decided, you know, I've been debating this for a few weeks, so why not just try it and find out? Better late than ever, I guess. So once we open it up, it is completely gray. It, I don't know if you guys could hear that. It's pretty hard and solid, but this is a clay, so I guess that's normal. As far as the smell goes, doesn't really have much of a smell. It smells, it smells like an actual clay you would use for like pots or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like this, but the smell isn't bad, but it's not good either. But that's enough with the smelling and the sort of discourse, I guess. So let's try this. Oh my God, that's actually, really hard uh, that's actually well it's hard to scoop out but kind of just disintegrated in my hand so let's see anyways I hope you guys are doing great so far uh, I don't know about you guys but I'm getting ready to go and start my online classes with college very soon. Right now I'm just getting information and updates and setting stuff up for the year. Uh, if you guys are incoming college students or maybe you're just still in, uh, what is it, high school, middle school, whatever grade, let me know how things are going for you guys. Anything you guys would like to see, this actually went through pretty smooth. Any content, any pomades, a little bit more um, as far as like the sweet Georgia brown red can goon grease suavecitos light pomade I'm getting on those this stuff looks very oily I'm getting to those as soon as I can which now that I got most of my stuff taken care of I think it should be here within maybe a week or so week or two no I don't want to be putting those stuff those reviews off so like I said in one of my previous videos where I explained um, I'm gonna be putting them on uh, what is it well hopefully you guys have your alerts or notifications on for YouTube click the little bell icon to get notified of any time that I upload a video but as far as those sweet Georgia brown red can goon grease and all those I'm gonna probably putting setting those onto premiere so you guys know when they're coming but as of now I'll try to keep you guys updated on it, everything I do so it's got shine to it and it's really like flattening my hair I don't know if you guys can tell by the look of it so it's pretty stiff when you get it out of the can or the little container but once you like work it within your hands it actually breaks apart very easily I'm gonna fix that it breaks apart very easily um, it does not stick when I get the product off my hands which is a good sign now it's time to see how it goes through the hair surprisingly smooth I don't know if you guys have seen my last review where I uh, not my last review my last Suavecito pomade review where I did the firm clay 
And that stuff was stiff. That thing was probably almost as hard as this and it broke apart almost as easily. But that one had so much tug and this one doesn't. This one kind of just glides right through. It's actually pretty nice actually. There's no smell at all. The scent doesn't really linger. It's got a nice shine. It's not super shiny to the point where it looks greasy. Um, yeah, it goes through very smoothly. Uh, I could already feel the hold. Not that it's a bad thing. I don't mean like it's really tugging at my hair, but it's got a little bit of resistance, not to the point where it's really pulling my hairs or anything. But so far the hold is pretty good. Not gonna lie. So, I'm gonna work the product in and then go back to the usual slick back. So, as you guys can see, my hair is fully slicked back. You guys can see the shine, hopefully. It's pretty good shine, pretty good hold so far. And from what I'm seeing, it's more or less weightless. But of course, this is just right now. You guys already know the drill. I'll be gone for like three, four hours maybe longer uh, I got a busy schedule today so we'll see what the end result is when I get back anyways and I am back so as you guys can see the hold is pretty consistent not gonna lie I was very hesitant on trying this product out to begin with but uh, actually I think I'm gonna adjust my camera but after a bit I just decided to buy it why not and I'm actually glad I did because the hold is great it's very light, it feels like it's almost not even there. It's not like some products that have a lot of weight, kind of like the, uh, what is it? The Grit Hair Gel that I reviewed, which if you guys haven't seen, check it out right here. But you guys already know, if you guys are returning subscribers, if you're new, typically the way I rate these pomades is on a scale of good, bad, or okay. And in this case, for Slick Gorilla and their clay pomade, I would definitely say this is definitely a good product. The hold is very light, it went through my hair very easily, and it holds, it does exactly what it says. It's a firm hold product, and the shine is pretty nice. It's not excessive or to the point where it makes your hair look greasy. And the scent, which was a little bit offsetting because it's a weird smell, kinda, it's pretty much gone. So, yeah, I definitely would recommend this product to anybody who wants to give it a shot. Definitely go ahead and do it. And maybe you've tried this product and you don't like it for yourself. If so, let me know because remember, these things are completely my opinion. But if you ever feel that your product was not justified, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day because you guys are all amazing people. And if you guys would like to make my day even more amazing, definitely check out these videos right here and subscribe down here for more, I guess, pomade reviews. Anyways. I'm out.